What's up guys, welcome to this new video. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this design here, which I found on Pinterest. Let's get started and let's get this tutorial going. Let's go. When I started looking up some images and some t-shirts as inspiration, I found that image and that design pretty cool. So I just decided to recreate it. And what I'm doing right now is that I decided the type of plant I want to use to create the top part of the design, which includes a tree. In this case, I decided to go with a characteristic tree, which has some really unique traits. And uh, I'm talking about the bonsai tree. I really like it because it's strange. It's not just a random tree. It's actually a tree full of details uh, that can help create a really cool graphic. So what I'm doing now is that I remove the background using the Photoshop remover background feature. If you don't have it, you can also just use the pen tool and just trace uh, the border and then mask uh, the object. If you don't really know how to make it, I already did a video where I show you how to create a streetwear design from scratch as a beginner tutorial. So I go through everything you'll need to know. But from now, let's just focus on this design here. So the steps you want to do to recreate this design are step one, grab an image of a tree. You can just select whichever tree you prefer. I suggest you to just uh, search something unique. In this case, as I said before, I decided to go with this bonsai tree, even if there were even some other options. Step two, remove the background and some imperfections. Step three, as you're seeing now, is adding a let's say color gradient uh, and uh, just messing around with colors uh, so we're color grading the image using the camera raw filter that you can find in the filter tab uh, on uh, the top part of your screen i decided to focus my color grading on the color mixer section and i really like it because you can just select uh, the exact color and then from there you can increase the saturation and stuff like that and so in this case here it helped me add uh, some green only on the leaves and not uh, add the saturation even on the trunk of the tree i used even the color grading section just to add a little bit of balance and create a cool texture and then for the last part, I added a grain over the image to add a little bit of texture. What I did here is that I prepared the tree for the actual design scheme we were following. So unfortunately, I had to remove the bottom part, which in my opinion was a really cool and full of texture part of this design. But unfortunately, the layout doesn't permit to add that much of a trunk. Now that we cut out the bottom part, I decided to open the filter gallery and this permitted me to add over another texture just to create a really cool finished tree image now it's time to pass on the second part of the design which focuses on adding some text uh, and some text layout so for the top text i decided to go with this curved font i didn't know which font to use but then after just deciding and changing up some font i decided to go with this one here that then i will change again because i didn't like it so now for now we can just keep it and continue with the second text which will be some sort of a phrase in a curly handwritten type of font in this case i decided to go with this font here i can't remember the name but you can see it you can find it on the top left part of my photoshop screen recording video and i just decided to mess around and find a good phrase which could suit this design and idea of actually the tree so i just decided to write visualizing the world with a green eye because my phrase for my brand is usually visualizing the creative world with a different perspective but i wanted it to make it related to this design so i decided to go with visualizing the world with a green eye i don't know it's a just random text which suits for this design afterwards i decided to go with an ariel bold text um, and write in small uh, global my studios copyright 25 why 25 because it is day 25 of creating one graphic one t-shirt graphic per day for 30 days and so i just wanted to put that number there 
afterwards I just added again my brand name so GMS Studios and finally I finished with some sort of uh, made up phone number just to complete the design and add some uh, other info to the graphic for now what I'm doing is that I'm coloring with a brown brush the branches of the bonsai tree just to make it more brownish and just to add some color to the branches now that I'm finally done I decided to change the actual initial text with a more curvy and vintage looking text and now it's time to put it on a mock-up it's not just a random mock-up it's the global my studios new mock-up that i made personally in my studio and which i'm happy to announce that you can go in the link in bio and you can decide to just get it for free or get all the hd and layers files for just a small fee that will help me create more videos and more assets for you guys. So now talking back uh, to the final design, I decided to go with two colors and two colorways. The first one is uh, white and the second one, as you're seeing now, it's uh, green, uh, dark green. With these mockups, it's really easy to change colors because it will arrive into a PSD file. And from there, you can just select the color that best fits the design you're making. And basically, that's it. So what I wanted to do to just finish the design is that I wanted to change the black text with a more creamy color. So maybe dark yellows or light yellow, I'll decide later. But but the main idea is to just change the black text with a more light color since dark green is a little bit dark. The tree, I will keep it the same. What I will change is just the color of the text and I'm doing it right now. So I decided to go with this cream color here that fits really well the green t-shirt. So here's the fun result. Go check out the mockups since they're really cool. Link in bio. I'll catch you tomorrow with a new video. Bye bye.